Meshtastic is essentially a, uh, a way, yes, thank you, Mr. Landfill, uh, a way to text using a phone application in, from peer to peer, I guess, or from, let, let's say, from your family members, from your war band, 100% secure, 100% encrypted without the need of internet or any third party services. All you need is a phone. Now this can be registered to you or not. This could be a burner phone, it could be an Android, it can be an Apple. Now, I may be speaking out of place here. I may not know what I'm talking about. I just learned of this. I just started working with it yesterday. Mr. Evan brought it to my attention, but it's very exciting. These little, now don't get uh, too excited. These are not available for purchase. This, these are prototypes. And this is essentially what your pers personal meshtastic, or an example, what your meshtastic communicator could look like. Now, imagine this, I guess, how I get my head around it. The range on these are going to be similar to that of a radio, so line of sight. What does that mean? Handheld radio. We here have been able to, with our digital radios, with our bow fangs, communicated effectively three, four, five, even six miles if there's nothing in the way. So you could expect that type of range from these as well. Now, depends on geography. If you're a Midwest man and you don't have any obstructions, but you also don't have any elevation, you know, you'll have to try it, play around with it. Maybe it's two miles, maybe it's three, I, I don't know. Out here, where we have massive peaks and mountains, uh, that can be really ex 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 it, uh, extended. So what we're going to be doing, and I'll do videos on all this, and, I, and again, I, I, I asked Mr. Evan if I could share the prototypes here that he's leaving with us, but these little units will be, when, they're, when he makes them, or there's a lot of other people making them, the goal is to, is to get the price of a meshtastic communicator to around the $50 range. What's inside is a circuit board, a small battery, and a Bluetooth, I guess a Bluetooth node, something to communicate to your phone. Antenna port, USB-C in the top. You open up the app, you pair it with your Meshtastic, and now let's say that Mr. Peter has one. This is Mr. Peters. Mr. Brian will have one. And as I pull it up, I connect to this, and I'm able now to choose, whether it be a party or single individuals, whoever I want to text to. Now that's fine around here because they're close by, easily within the range of these. But let's say what happens if one of the war band decides to go up and pick huckleberries five, six miles away up on the mountain, gets into a bind. There's no cell service up there. Does he have his radio on? Well, uh, maybe. Do we have our radios on to receive the communication? Well, maybe. Maybe if he asked us. But what this would give us the ability to do now is to place these nodes or these, what are they, nodes or modules? I, I'm not sure all the nomenclature. For example, like this big one. Now, this big one here has a giant battery in it. And we have one of these that we are going to be taking up and putting it on the highest tree and the highest mountain several miles from here, plugging in a solar panel, and this thing will basically just work for us indefinitely. Imagine it kind of like your own personal cell tower. Now that we have this, let's say we have this mounted up on a tree up on Mount Fuji, five, six miles away. Now that changes everything. All of our small nodes and modules that we have, our personal communicators, that are in line of sight from this big boy here. Now we have a tremendous capability of communicating within our group privately, securely, completely independent of cell service, AT&T, grid, and prying eyes, fully encrypted. So you don't have to be, you don't have to be a genius to figure out that this is a pretty valuable 
and amazing and very exciting technology. And what's cool about it is it's affordable. When you can, I mean, if you can buy these, so this is, this is cool. This is Evan's design here. This is a waterproof, a $4 waterproof cigarette container. You want to, should we use our high production and come in close here? Check this out. This is a, uh, yeah, you've seen it, you know, when East Coast man likes to go rafting and put his Winstons or his camel filters uh, to take them along in his inner tube. Or his, uh, what does he wear? What does East Coast, East Coast man doesn't know how to swim, so he, what does he wear? His floaties, but he's got to take his smokes with him, so he puts it in this waterproof case. $4 waterproof case, and these are all hand belt. USB port C for charging the battery, or you can plug in a USB-C solar panel if you want to turn this thing into a, um, you know, basically a repeater. A um, BNC connector with your, was it 900 megahertz antenna? And the other cool thing about these, as Mr. Dryer was telling me yesterday, yes, Mr. Landfill says, I like the price tag, good, no, no kidding. And to be able to drop these all over the place, and the more of these that are placed around, the more of them that can be used. If I place Big Boy here, or when I place Big Boy, we're, we're gonna, actually, the Warband's, what the Warband's going to do is we like to do our, we like to LARP and do our training missions. We're gonna night vision up and uh, go up to the highest peak one of these evenings and uh, climb a tree and uh, place this guy with its solar panel, spray paint it, make it all su super private and secure, or so no one will, well, if someone sees that it, it's not the end of the world, there's not a lot of money in this. But um, pretty exciting. This thing can basically run up there for years and years and years, as long as no one molests it. And if you put it in a 100 feet, 200 feet in the top of a, a Douglas fir tree, the tree of my people, it's unlikely to be bothered, to be honest. But think of it as like a trail cam. Now, we're not the only ones that can use it. Also, if someone were to find it, there's nothing that can trace it back to you. It's completely encrypted. And if you don't have the pin, you know, you can lock it down. You can do whatever you want. So it's, again, I'm, I'm just talking about things that I know very, very little about. But I think you can see the potential of this, it is pretty extraordinary. I got the fizz when I downloaded the app and I used this for the first time yesterday. We were connecting up to these and Mr. Evan was showing us how to use, how to use it. And a feeling that came over me that I have not experienced in probably, well, I don't know, maybe since the time of cell phones. The idea or the notion that you can communicate knowing that no one is able to read what you're saying. It's incredible. Because we all know, I mean, unless you are a complete retard, you know that if you have one of these devices, I don't care, and I don't trust any of the signal apps or any of that stuff, uh, you know with pr pretty much certainty that if someone wants to, if, if the big bad government wants to listen in on what you're doing, um, there's a record of everything you've done, said, websites, all of that. We understand that. I don't do anything illegal, so I'm not overly concerned about it. Nor am I suggesting that we do anything illegal. But I think we have every right, if it's within our ability, 50 bucks, if you can have some anonymity, to have... That, that experience of texting back and forth with the war band, knowing that you're on your own personal private network, that no one can shut down, that no one can cancel, that no one can read, it was, it was euphoric. It was like a, a big breath of fresh air that I haven't experienced in a long time. And it's pretty exciting, isn't it? Pretty exciting. So more to come on this. I just I wanted to share that with you. I thought it was cool. These, again, are just prototypes, and Mr. Evan is flushing things out. He's going to be leaving a mesh-tastic setup with us so that we can start working with it to give him feedback. Ultimately, the goal would be to produce these on a scale that Warband members could order them. Let's say you wanted to order six of these. You're going to invest $300, six nodes, passing them out to your friends and family, putting a couple up in high places, utilize, utilizing ones that are already there, contributing to 
the, the network, the more people that put these up, the more people that get involved with it, the more robust the system will be. And you basically have something that is phenomenal. Isn't it cool? Mark says, can you use this with an old phone without a SIM card in it? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the, that would be the way to do it, is to use an old phone with no SIM card. Go to Walmart and buy a burner phone that's never been registered to you. You don't need any SIM card or anything. All you need is a phone that will receive and connect to the Bluetooth signal that comes out of these. There's a Bluetooth antenna inside. Once you connect to that, and, uh, and that, so I asked Evan, I said, well, what about the app? What about the app, the messaging app that you download from the app store that is connecting to this? You know, who controls that and such? It's open source. Android, iPhone, it's not going to make any difference. So it's very, very cool. <laughs>